Hi everyone, my name is Kara Floodman and I'm the Instructional Technology Coordinator here in Hamilton. I've got the Instructional Technology team with me, Chris Corney McGee, Kaylee Baldwin, and Ashley Shanley. And we're here today to talk to you about setting up your live stream in your physical classroom and transitioning into the hybrid model when you come back in October. Okay, so the first thing we're going to need to do is connect our hardware to start our live stream. So we're going to look for the cables that are associated with the smart board. There should be two. You should have a USB cable and an HDMI cable. Some classrooms will have a USB cable and a VGA cable. Whichever cables you have, connect them to your device. If you need to, turn on your smart board and turn on your projector. Make sure your laptop is turned on, you're signed into Chrome, and you're ready to go. Setting up your live stream is very simple. The first step you're going to take is going into your Google Chrome browser and finding the waffle menu. You're going to click calendar and that's how you're going to set up your streaming link. So to create your calendar event, you're going to click, add a title, and you're going to add Google Meet video conferencing. To the right, there is a carrot that you'll choose, and you're going to add a live stream link. This live stream link is what you are going to communicate with your students. As the teacher, you're going to click Join with Google Meet, and that's where you will start your streaming. Click Join Now, and at the top, you will select Start Streaming. In the top left-hand corner, there will be a red Live button, and you are good to go. Remember, your camera and your microphone are connected to your computer so you need to stay in a close proximity to your computer at all times. When in doubt, think of your students at home who need to see and hear you. When you're live streaming, you may want to share your screen so that students at home and students in the classroom are seeing the same thing. In order to do that, you are going to present your screen within the live stream. To do that, you're going to go to the bottom right-hand corner and click Present Now. You have three different methods of presenting your screen. Your entire screen, a window, or a Chrome tab. When you choose to present, you will want to make sure that you select whether it's your entire screen or the tab. And then click Share. Now, my screen is shared with my students at home, and the students that are in the classroom can see the same thing on the projector. When I go over to a presentation, they are seeing my entire screen. In order to end the presentation, I can click Stop Sharing from the toolbar at the bottom if I choose to keep that toolbar, or if I hide the toolbar, I will need to go back to the Google Meeting and click Stop Presenting. Just remember that when you are presenting your screen and you are showing a video or an audio clip that you want to share a Chrome tab. When I select a Chrome tab, all of my tabs show up right here. I can see the names of the tabs here are the same names at the top. I'm going to select the tab that has my video in it and then I'm going to click share. Now you'll see that it says that you are sharing this tab to Google Meet and it is surrounded by a light blue line. This tells me that this portion of my video is what is going to be shared with my students on their screen. Remember that during the live stream, the students can see and hear you, but you cannot see or hear them. You might have some concerns about keeping the line of communication open between you and your students during the live stream. 
So we have some suggestions for you. You can use tools like Google Classroom or Seesaw to have the students write down questions that they might have during the live stream. You could also use a shared Google document where the students could jot down their questions or notes during the live stream. In addition to those alternate lines of communication, don't forget as we transition into the hybrid model, not only will you have students online watching your live stream, but you'll also have students in front of you in the physical classroom. The students in front of you are a great resource for questions that your students might have during your live stream. So feel free to let them ask questions, but just make sure that you reiterate them or restate them so that everybody online will also hear the questions that the students are asking, and then you can answer those questions for everybody at the same time. We hope this answers any questions you may have about live streaming and setting up your classrooms for hybrid instruction. Remember, we are all in this together. It's unfamiliar territory. We're here to support you guys. If you have any questions, please reach out. Remember, we are One Hamilton.